Hello Tama Peeps, I wanted to do a crochet video for you guys. I know that you guys have been wanting like a, a DIY project and everything to do, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be particularly doing the Tama Cradle that I showed on um, a few of my Instagram photos and everything, I'll post right here. Um, <clears throat> before I've made a Kuchipachi one, and then another one I did what was a donut and everything. So I just wanted to show you guys um, basically what we're gonna be creating today. So first and foremost, um, you'll need at least a basic understanding of how crochet works. Um, I'm gonna be working really as slow as possible, but as quickly as possible so that you guys get the gist of the actual project and everything. I'll show you the details for the uh, list of uh, supplies you're gonna need, as well as I'm gonna try to go step by step by step and then define how many rows and how many um, stitches that you'll need per round. So let's get started. First and foremost, you will need your trusty crochet hook. I am using a clover hook, which is the E, and it's a 3.5 millimeter. So you're gonna be using this particular hook for the crochet project. Um, you will need some type of, um, uh, let's call it weaving needle. Oop, oop, don't wanna do that wrong. But um, you're gonna have to have some type of darning needle to weave in your ends and everything. So I have one of those. And then also, this is my clover holder as well, so that you guys know which things I have. I love clover products, so I have a lot of clover things. So you'll need a darning needle. You're gonna need a stitch marker. I use clover stitch markers. Let me see your focus. I love, like I said, I love clover, so I have stitch markers from them. You can also use another piece of yarn, um, paper clip, uh, earring, something that at least that you can loop onto it so that you don't lose your mark on the actual um, project. And then also, uh, you're gonna need a, a thing of worsted weighted yarn. I'm using um, Red Heart yarn in colorway orange, and this is a number four yarn. So this is plastic yarn. Um, if you're wanting something machine washable, you'll wanna have some type of fabric yarn. Um, something like cotton and stuff like that so you can clean it up. But I don't really, I mean, you can if you want to throw it in the machine and get it cleaned up, but I don't really make my time of cradles really, really dirty. So that's why I use the um, plastic acrylic yarn um, for these projects. They're really soft still, really, really nice, and I love the vibrancy. I'm using orange particularly because it's a little bit easier to see other than darker tones. And um, I did it on my crochet project of the Toma Tamagotchi case, and it was a little bit easier to see the actual in-between of the stitches. So that's why I'm using orange for that. And then also optional, you can um, have the Tama Cradle be open on the side or the bottom of it, or you can put felt. I don't have any felt with me, but you can put a round square, sh uh, round square, a round shape of felt and then glue it on the bottom of it so that you can have something that um, cushions the bottom as well as has your Tama um, settle on if you want. But that is optional. I do sometimes with mine, um, but in most cases, especially like if it's a donut, I'm not gonna put it on a donut because it won't look like a donut. But anyway, uh, let's get started. So let's move this all to the side. I have my stitch marker and the beginning of my yarn. So the beginning portion of this is that we are going to cast on technically, which is we're gonna put the yarn on our actual crochet hook. So what I normally do is that I, I grab a little bit of the yarn, pull it around my finger like that, grab the pinch, and then pull up the loop through. So you have a little bit of a loop there, like that. Let me do it again for you guys. Put it around my finger, pinch, put the yarn through the loop like so and you get like a little pull tie and then you put your hook through that loop and then pull and then slip on so you cast it on so what you're going to do is for this project is that you're going to cast on or chain 24 uh, chains so I'll, I'll chain one to show you so you're going to yarn over pull through the loop let me get closer pull through the loop so that's one chain, two, three, four, five, six. So I was gonna count to show you guys. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six. And chain is just basically you're, you're pulling the yarn through to cre create a chain of stitches. So I'm gonna do yarn over, pull through. And this is the American, um, basically American uh, standard or US standard of crochet. In other cases in the United States and then in Britain, it's a little bit different. UK and the United States have a different naming system for things, but this, I'm gonna do the US system. So that's seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's it? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, twenty-four. So we have twenty-four chains there. So there we go. Those are twenty-four chains on our hook. So this is going to be the first round. So um, we're going to basically be taking what we have, twenty-four uh, chains, and then we're going to connect the into a loop. So find your first chain, which is right here at the very beginning. Pull through. Grab this extra bit of yarn, grab your working yarn and pull through one, sorry, let me make sure I'm showing you guys, one, two. So we now have a loop. Now that we have them all together, you grab your working yarn and then we're gonna do single crochets all the way around. So let's go back. So we got one single crochet, pull through, get your stitch marker, trusty stitch marker, put it through that first loop because that's our starting point. And I'll do it again so that you guys see. So we're gonna do another single crochet. We're gonna go through our loop right here. Make sure I grab it. Grab our yarn from behind, our working yarn, pull through, loop on the hook, go again through. Boom, single crochet. That's our second, so one, two. Next, go again, next stitch, yarn over, grab through, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through both loops, single crochet. Let's do it again, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, single crochet. So that's one, two, three, four, let me show you. One, two, three, four. They're marked by the, the actual Vs. So that's one, two, three, four. And then we have another stitch right there. So one single crochet, two loops on the hook, yarn over again. Oops, sorry, <laughs> just do that again. Go through the loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two loops. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do this all the way around. I'm just gonna go through each stitch, do a single crochet. Oop, grab, make sure. This yarn does split sometimes in hair, so you have to make for sure that you grab each one. Some worst the way yarns are like that, so. I'm using a very simple yarn. It's a single crochet all the way around. Go through the loop, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through two loops. Yarn over, go through two loops. Go through the loop, yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through two loops. And that's just the basic single crochet stitch. Okay, we're back at the beginning. So you should basically have fully around 24 stitches for the first round 
of single crochets around. So let's count. So 24 stitches around. So here's one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then we're on the 24th right there. So 24 stitches around. So that's how we know that we're in the process. So if you casted on 24 chains and then did single crochets all around and then add up to 24, you did good for the first round. So let's get it, keep it going. So this would be the next round, which is the second round here. So round two, this is gonna be an increased round. So with our stitch marker here and everything, we're gonna do a single crochet into the next three stitches, so one, two, three. And then the fourth stitch, we're gonna do an increase of two, which means that we're going to put two single crochets into that stitch. That would make it so that it adds more stitches so that we have a circular motion going around. It's almost close to what we did in the crochet case video. It's just that it's gonna be in a ring as opposed to a like continuous, um, smooth, round surface. So that's what we're gonna do here. So let's get started. So grab your working yarn. So in the next stitch, we're gonna take the stitch marker off, put it down. So into this stitch right here, we're gonna do one single crochet. So single crochet, yarn over, go through the loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through two. We're gonna get our stitch marker again, and then put it in that loop right here that we just started, which is our first bit of the round. So next three, two stitches, we're gonna have a single crochet, the third stitch, single crochet, Make sure also with your tension. Don't forget about your tension. If it's too tight, it's gonna be hard to uh, work the round. So try to pull up the yarn um, so that you don't, uh, it's not too tight. So we have one, two, three, like I get close here. One, two, three stitches that we did single crochets into. And then the fourth stitch right there, we're gonna put two single crochets. So go through the loop, yarn over, pull through, pull up a little bit, yarn over again, pull through, and then in that same stitch, see that little see that little hole there? In that same stitch, we're gonna do another single crochet into that stitch. So go through, yarn over, pull up, pull up a little bit so it's not too tight. Yarn over again, pull through those two. So we should have five stitches now. One, two, three, four, five. So that was our increase. And we're gonna do that all the way around for round two. So go through the first three stitches with a single crochet, so one, two, three, pull up, so we have three. In the next stitch, put two single crochets on the fourth stitch. So one, pull up, and two, pull up, yarn over and go through. So I'm gonna do it again. Go in the first three, so first three stitches, three single, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, fourth stitch, two single crochets together. So one, two, three, fourth stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two, Okay, I'm gonna keep on doing this again. I'm just keep on showing you guys. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, two in the fourth. So one, two, do it again. One single crochet, Two single crochet, three single crochet, two in the fourth stitch. One, two. Okay, this is our last set. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, two in the last four. 
or sorry, <laughs> two, yeah, two in the in the last stitch, which is the fourth stitch. So one and two. Oops, it's going through the stitch marker. Oops, sorry. There we go. So now when I pull up, I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see. So for this round, because we did an increase, we should ha now have uh, 30 stitches, uh, 30 stitches on this round. So I'm gonna count. So one, so one, two, three. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna focus. Sorry, there you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. So 30 stitches around. So if you have 30 stitches for the second round, you are doing good, we're doing good. Okay, so we are gonna be going into round three and it's gonna be another increase round. So let's get started. Round three is not much different um, than round two. So round three is that we're going to do four single crochets in the four stitches. And in the fifth stitch, we're gonna do two single crochets around uh, on that uh, one. So I'll show you. So take the stitch marker off, put it down. So in that first stitch right here, we see right there the little hole, we're gonna do one single crochet, lift up, Get our stitch marker back on there again. Make sure that we mark our round. So one, one single crochet, two single crochet. Oop, just let me do it again. Two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet. And then in the fifth one, two single crochets in the same stitch one and then two so now we have one two three four five six so i'm gonna do it again one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet and in the fifth stitch, we're gonna do two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So I'll do it one more time. Well, I'll do it all the way around. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and then two in the fifth single crochet. One, and two. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and in the fifth, we're going to do two. So one, Two. One single crochet. Two single crochet. Three single crochet. Four single crochet. Two in the fifth. One. Two. Okay. One single crochet. Two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and then the last one, the fifth one, two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two. Okay, so that marks and finishes our round three. So for this round, you should have 36 stitches around so for round three. So let's get on to round four. 
So we're gonna be starting round four for you guys. So it's gonna be basically the same. We're gonna be adding increases on it. So in the first um, five stitches, we're gonna be doing single crochets. And then the sixth stitch, we are going to put an increase of two. So that's the start. So I'm gonna take the stitch marker out. So right here, right here at the beginning, we're gonna do one single crochet, pull up, yarn over, go through two loops, grab your stitch marker again, and in this loop right here, you're gonna put your stitch marker to mark the round. Okay, so one, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and in the next stitch, we're gonna be putting two into that sixth stitch, one, two so now we increase so we have one two three four five six seven stitches so with that increase there it gave us seven stitches so let's go in the next one so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet and then in the six, we're adding two. One, two. Let's do it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and then the six, we're gonna put two in there. One, two. Okay, let's start it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and in the six, Two, one, two. Okay, one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and then the next stitch, two in this sixth stitch. One, two. Okay, and it's the last set. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, and then the sixth one, two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two, boom. And that is round four. So I'm not gonna count a round, but if you did it correctly for round four, you should have 42 stitches all the way around and equal and everything. So if you have 42 stitches, you should be on the right track. And now we're gonna go into row five. Okay, so let's get started. So now we are on round, or row five of our crochet project. So I'm gonna grab some more yarn, some working yarn so that we know how much we need. So if you have 42 stitches from round four, you're good. So in the, this round, we're gonna be doing another increase round. So in the next six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six stitches, we're gonna do six or one single crochet into each of those six stitches so it equals six and on the seventh we're going to do another increase of two single crochets into that stitch so let's start so i'm going to take off my stitch marker so in the first one right here as you can see it's a little hole right there you're going to do one single crochet pull up grab your stitch marker put it through that first stitch so one see here so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single
single crochet, six single crochet, and then in the seventh, we're gonna put two in that same stitch. So one and two. So now we've increased for this first round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So let's do it again. So next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and in the seventh stitch, we put two in that same stitch. So one, two. Okay, so let's do it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and then the seventh stitch, two in that same stitch. So one, two. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna keep on repeating it so that you guys get it through your head how the process goes. It's, it's very simple, is that we just, each round we do an increase, we add a stitch. So we're gonna do one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and then the seventh stitch, two in that same stitch. So one, two. Okay, so one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and then a seventh stitch, two in that same stitch. So one, two. Okay, so the last round, one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and in to this last stitch right here, two single crochets in the seventh stitch. One, two, and that marks our round. Okay, cool, so that was round five. And now, let me see here. So if you did it correctly, so round five is another increase round. So if you did it correctly, this round, you would have 48 stitches in total around. That would be correct. So now that um, it's um, 48 stitches, we you're starting to notice that it's starting to become a little bit more dome shaped, but like also circular, almost like a little bit of a hexagon. <laughs> but it does, it will curl over like that to make that like donut shape and everything. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. So round five, you should have a round of 48 stitches all the way around. And if, that, if you do, you are on the right track. And then we'll be going through um, yeah, rows six through nine, which is basically gonna be the same pattern over again, okay? So let's get that started. So this is going to be uh, for rounds six through nine. So rounds six through nine are, are gonna be very simple. It's gonna be just single crochets all the way around, no increases or decreases, just it could be one, single crochet into each of the 48 stitches around. That meaning that it's gonna be just gaining more outward so that we get that shape that we need. So that's gonna be for rounds six through nine.
and then last 48. And that's round six, guys. So it's a single crochet in two each stitch around, which is 48 stitches around. So that's gonna be, that's row six now. And so for row seven, eight, and nine, you're gonna be doing the same thing around, single crochets. So I'll do that and um, I'll go through um, into round nine and everything, and then we'll come back for round 10 on up. Okay, let's do that. Hey, Tom and Peeps, and we're back. So as you can see, it's starting to get more of a dome shape, almost like that donut circular shape and everything. And this is after rounds six through nine. So this is all the way up and starting to become a little more circular shape. So this is gonna be basically the shape of the donut and everything once we start getting it. So that's all of our increases. So in round 10, we're gonna be doing decreases and that's what we're gonna do now. So let's get started. So I pulled out enough yarn <laughs> to work from that for a bit. So starting on round 10, we're gonna be doing decreases. So it's gonna be basically doing the opposite of what we've been doing. So in the next six stitches, we're gonna do single crochets and in the last uh, two stitches after that, we're gonna uh, stitch them together to decrease the round. So I'll show you how to do that. So take your stitch marker off, put it down real quickly. So in the first single crochet, one, put your stitch marker back to mark your round right there. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and then the next two right here, these two stitches, one, two, we're gonna be um, crocheting them together. So we're gonna put one through, grab the yarn through, pull up a loop. You have two loops on the, on the hook now, and then you're gonna go through the next loop as well, stitch, go through, grab it from the back. Now you have three stitches, or three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over again and pull through all those three stitches. And we just stitched two stitches together to decrease. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll show you that again. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet. And now we're gonna do a decrease again. So in the next two stitches, we're gonna decrease. So go through the first stitch, yarn over, pull through a loop, two loops on the hook, go into your next stitch, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three loops. Boom, another decrease. I'm gonna do that again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and then we're gonna do our decrease. Go through the first stitch, yarn over, two loops on the hook, go to, into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three loops. Decrease, do it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet. And then the next loop, decrease. Go through the first stitch, yarn over, pull up, oh, sorry, yarn over, pull up, two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up, three stitches, three loops on the stitch, on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three stitches. Decrease, and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
and then we decrease. Go through the first stitch here, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook. Go into our next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on our, on our hook, yarn over again, pull through all three loops, decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, last two stitches, go through, yarn over, two loops on the hook, go through the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three loops, and that ends round 10. Okay, so you're starting to see the shape of it is starting to become more circular and dome shape. That means that um, you're starting to get to the point where you can be able to shape it the way that you need it. So, so now that we decrease and everything, we should be back to 42 stitches around, all the way around. So if you counted 42 stitches again, because we decreased, we're, you're doing good. And um, we're almost we're almost to the finish line, guys. It just takes a little bit of uh, time each time to um, make that round. But see, as you can see, it's starting to become that donut shape and everything. So that was round 10. So now we're gonna be doing another decrease round, which is round 11. And let's do that now. Now we are in round 11. So in the next five stitches, we're gonna be doing single crochet. So one single crochet, two, three, four, five. And then to the next two stitches after that, we're gonna be decreasing again. So let's do that now. Take your stitch marker off. Go in the first stitch, single crochet. Put your stitch marker back where it was to mark your round. And let's get started. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet. And in the next two stitches, we're gonna be decreasing. So go through the first stitch, pull up a loop. In the next stitch, go through, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through all three. We've decreased. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. Okay, let's do it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, Oop, got a little hair in there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna decrease. Go through the first stitch, yarn over, go through two loops, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three loops. Do it again. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we decrease. Go through the next stitch, pull up, two loops on the hook, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three loops. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we decrease. Go through the first loop, yarn over, pull up, next stitch, yarn over, pull up, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. And we do it again. One, two, three, four, and then five. And then we decrease. Go through the first loop, or hook, or stitch, pull up, second stitch, go through, pull up, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through all three. Okay, so one, two, 
three, four, five, and then we decrease. Go through the first stitch, pull up, go into the second stitch, pull up, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. And then we're done with round 11. So now, if it's correct, we should only have 36 stitches around. As you can see, you can see and everything that um, we have a bigger shape now and it's starting to become more of a dome, even more so. So if you are doing everything correctly, you should only have 36 stitches now from the last row. So row 11, now we are going to go into row 12 and it's gonna be the same thing, but we're gonna be decreasing even more. So let's start. So row 12, we're gonna be doing a single crochet in the next four stitches, one, two, three, four. And in the last two of that, we're gonna be decreasing those. So I'll show you. Let's take your stitch marker off. One single crochet. Put your stitch marker back in to mark the round. So that's one, two, three, four, and then we decrease. So go through the first stitch, yarn over, go through. Second stitch, yarn over, pull up, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. Do it again. One, two, three, and four. Next to two stitches, we decrease. Go through, yarn over, two on the hook, do the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. Go through again. One, two, and three, four. We decrease the next two. Let me pull, okay. And then we decrease. First stitch, loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through all three. Start over again. One, two, three, four. We go into the next two stitches, go through stitch one, pull up a loop, stitch two, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. One, two, three, four. Next two stitches, we decrease. Go through first stitch, pull up a loop, go through second stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. One, two, three, four. Last two stitches, go through first stitch, pull up a loop, second stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through all three loops. And that is round 12, y'all. Okay, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. <laughs> so, now that we did round 12, you should only have 30 stitches around. And if you count to 30 stitches, you are on the right track. So we only have a few more rows left, and then we'll start stuffing this little boy, our girl, because it looks more like, um, is it Mimichi? Mimichi? So we can probably make her into this time of case. <laughs> so that is round 12. So let's do round 13. So round 13, this is gonna be our last decrease round. So in the next three stitches, one, two, three, we will do a single crochet into each one and then we'll decrease by the two next. So let's do this. Take your stitch marker off. Single crochet in the first stitch, one. Put your marker back in that single crochet. Next. That's two, 
and three. There we go. And then in the next two stitches, so one, two, so one, two, we're gonna decrease. So first stitch, pull up a loop. Second stitch, pull up a loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through all three. Do it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and then we decrease. First stitch, yarn over. Second stitch, yarn over. Yarn over again, pull through all three loops. Make sure everyone that when you are doing these, when you're doing decreases and increases, that you just make sure that your tension is not too tight because that will make your work really, really hard to uh, function with. So you want to like pull up a little bit, not too, not too loose and not too tight. You want to just pull up just, just enough so that you can grab the yarn smoothly without having any type of strain. So let's do it again. So next three stitches, one single crochet. So one, two, three, and then decrease the next two. First stitch, yarn over, pull up. Second stitch, yarn over, pull up. Three stitches, three loops on the hook. Yarn over again, pull through all three. Do it again. One single crochet. Two single crochet. Three single crochet. And then we decrease. First stitch, yarn over. Second stitch, yarn over. Three loops on the hook, yarn over again, pull through all three. Do it again. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and then we decrease. Let me grab some more yarn. Okay, then we decrease. First stitch, yarn over. Second stitch, yarn over. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over again, go through all three. One, two, three, and then the last two. First stitch, yarn over. Second stitch, yarn over. Three loops on the hook, yarn over again, go through all three loops. And that is round 13, y'all. Okay, so this is the last of the decrease round. So if you did it correctly, we are back to 24 stitches like we did the first row. So if you have 24 stitches around, you are golden. And then what we're gonna be doing for the next two rounds is going to be doing single crochets into each stitch around, which will be 24 stitches around. So row 14 and 15, we will be doing single crochets into each stitch. So let's do that. Row 14, and this is gonna be single crochets around. So put your stitch marker down. So first single crochet, put your stitch marker back on to mark your round, and let's go. And then round 15 is gonna be the same thing. Put in a single crochet around to equal 24. I'll do that one on, on my own and everything. We'll come back and then we'll fasten this big bad boy off and everything and we will show you how it's formed. Be right back. Okay. So I did round 15 off camera, which is the same as round 14, is put in a single crochet into each stitch round which equals 24 stitches. So now that we are basically done with all of our increases and decreases, so the only thing we need to do is to um, like cut off the yarn, leave a long tail, and then start stuffing and sewing in the seams right here at the same time. So let's start that. So let me grab this. What I normally do to make sure that everything ties up well and stuff, like I'll 
see right here, it shows that that's the last bit of the round from round 15. I pull through completely like that. And then I grab the end of my working yarn and I snip it off. I have a little cutting device from Clover, not sponsored. <laughs> None of this is sponsored by Clover, but this, I love Clover products. So what I do is like I pull enough yarn to sew in the seams and then I cut it off. Boom, done. And then what I do, grab my hook for my loop and everything that I did from my working, I just pull everything through. Let me spread this, just pull it through and boom. And I can take off my stitch marker because I'm already done. So that's the one thing I did not tell you guys that you will need for this project from the beginning is polyfill, which is this like basically like toy stuffing. So you will need, you'll definitely need some type of toy stuffing or old, you know, fabric that you can put in to stuff your actual donut or Toma, Toma uh, cradle with and everything. So you want to get enough of this to fill it up and you want to fill it up gradually. So I have a little bit of polyfill. I have quite a bit of it actually. So it's all over here, but, um, get enough to be able to stuff it. And then we're going to get our darning needle, which I have right here, pull that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start sewing in the seams. So this is where my, I always start from the beginning of where my last stitch was. So I'm going to grab my tail of yarn, put it through the eye of the darning needle. Like so pull through and I just want to make sure that it's in there enough so that I can actually go in. So what you're going to do is that I'm going to grab that extra yarn that I had from earlier and just keep it in there so that um, I hide that seam. And then we're going to go from either side of this project. So I'm starting from here. So I'm going to go on to this side adjacent, adjacent to the other side, pull through and then go through completely. Pull the yarn through. And this starts off our stitching process. So you see, it went through and everything here. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to weave in and out all the way around in the same time, stuffing it with the polyfill right there all the way around. And just make sure that you put in enough. Sometimes you might actually have to use the bottom portion of your crochet hook and stuff it in to make sure that you get it all the way around and everything. So let me just show you a little bit more and then we will have our own little Tama cradle. So I'm in one stitch here. I'm going into the next stitch beside it. Pull through. If you guys have ever sewn, you might know this a little bit more and a little bit easier for you. But it's basically just trying to, you know, match up the stitches around. So grab that stitch right there, that little V. Let me see if I can grab it. So that little V there, you want to go through it like that. And then go into the next stitch on the opposite side, which is right there. And just pull it through. There we go. And I try to do a little, a little bit of them at the same time. Let me go through all the way. That way I can um, get a little bit of it closed already and then start stuffing it. So I went through that. So I'll go through this stitch right there. Go into the next stitch over. Right there, pull it through. And you just want to do that. So I have a pretty good seam right here of it closed already. So that way I can start actually stuffing the polyfill in it. Take your time, guys. It's not a rush. You just want to, you know, make sure you get the polyfill as much as you can inside of it so that it, there's no. Um, no little joints missing in it because you'll start filling around. It's like, oh, that doesn't have enough polyfill there. Oh, that doesn't have enough polyfill there. So you want to get enough fluff in there so that it feels comfortable and it feels symmetrical all the way around. So I'm just going to keep on doing that. And like I said, you can use your crochet hook and like put it in there, stuff it in. But you don't want to stuff it too hard because it'll start ripping the seam or not ripping the seam. But see how it looks a little all wonky. You want to make for sure that's tight and down. So you don't want it to be open like that. But let's keep on sewing it up and then stuffing, sewing it up and stuffing. There we go. And then when you start stuffing it and everything, you start seeing the either side of everything too. So 
Just keep on working gradually. Going all the way through. Keep on going through. Like I said, be patient. I've done this many times before, so I know how um, it works each time. So I don't have like the amount of stress or anything like that, but I'm just doing it quickly enough so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go. We're starting to flatten a little bit there. So we wanna make for sure that we keep on stuffing at the same time. Boom. There we go. And then I grab a little bit more of the polyfill and stuff it. Stuff it, stuff it, stuff it in there. So now you're starting to get that donut shape there. Put it in there. There we go. And then you just work it around a little bit so that it fits around. And see, you want to pull a little bit more. And just keep on sewing in and out, in and out. Okay, time of peep. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was um, filming and everything, and then my uh, memory went out. So, oh goodness, whatever. What can I do? But um, I basically got to the point where I started stuffing it even more and sewing at the same time. So I'm almost done. So basically, I'm gonna try to get as much of the stuffing around the whole entire donut shape, and then we just sew in as we go. So it's basically almost done. Um, like I said, you can add, you can keep it as it is. You can um, start applying, um, uh, was it felt to it on the bottom? And then you can also cut out shapes to form the um, eyes and stuff or of a particular Tamagotchi or different patterns and everything. I just wanted to go over the basic shape and crochet project of itself, the actual structure of the, like the donut cradle shape. That way you guys can, you know, design it and customize it the way you want it. Or you can have it a certain color or anything like that. Um, and just, just leave it up to your imagination. But yeah, basically I'm trying to go through each stitch around, sewing as I do. Like I said, I did like a yellow one, so I can I could have done a Mamichi, a Mamichi one and everything. But yeah, if this is a really simple, simple process here sewing and everything I'm very similar to before I even did crochet so sewing is nothing new to me hand sewing at least at least <laughs> so there you go you just stitch everything together you just pull and you just make for sure so you want to just make sure that everything's stuffed in and around you just want to make sure the overall shape of it is consistent around because you don't want nothing like being pudgy in certain places and not in others so you just want to form it and then I just do a few more stitches across and everything so that I know that everything's closed in and it looks seamless. There we go. Boom. I'm just going to keep on working around. And then you can just basically uh, go in and out of the project. Let me see here. Let's make sure that this is in there. Let me grab this portion upwards and this here. Let me make for sure. Cause I don't want stuffing coming out. So pull up the yarn, grab through. There we go. And this one to keep on. There we go. So now you have your own little Tama cradle. You just want to, you know, pull the, polyfill that's inside of it around, like I said, to shape it the way you want. And then basically what I do at the very end, making sure that all seams are good and that there's nothing left like popping out or whatever. I just go through and make for sure. And then just tug and stuff like that. And then what I do is normally just go through the project like so and go out. There we go. And then I pull just, just a tad, and then I snip it to get the, that last bit of yarn stuck in the actual project so that nothing popping out. And then, boom, you have your own little Tama Cradle. Like I said, just wanna 
shape it the way that you want it to be, and then you are good. Like I said, I'm gonna put everything in the details in the um, comments down below, at least for the, um, not comments, but in the description um, of all the supplies that you will need. And then, um, yeah, just keep you guys at least informed of what you're gonna need for the project. But yeah, there's our Tama Cradle, yay. So I'm gonna get my Tamagotchi right here. So I have my, pack, my um, sweet meats, so I'm just gonna put it right there. You can do it like that. Um, I did use a, a crochet hook, it's probably just a little bit smaller, but you can use like uh, something, like mine is a 3.5, so you can go a little bit higher, probably two crochet uh, hooks higher to get a little bit more of a, a wider Tama Cradle. But this one I think is secure enough to have your Tamagotchi in and everything. But yeah, that's basically the, sh the full on shape of it. You can have it be like a nest or like I had with my Kuchipachi and a donut. But that is the basic shape of the Tama Cradle. So I hope you guys enjoy this. These type of projects take a little bit longer time. So I might uh, do project videos that are more in depth every other week if I can, or once a month, because these do are very, very detailed and writing out patterns is usually the, the most of the battle. And then testing it and making sure it's okay and it's correct and everything. So I always want to um, give you guys a good product and um, a project that works and that you don't, you know, there's no questions about it. I know there'll be questions about this particular project, but I'm, I'm more nap to help you guys, especially um, if I have things written out and there's no question about on my end, but yeah. But I hope this is a project that you guys can enjoy while you're at home and everything amongst all the chaos that's happening. And it's pretty practical. I wanted to get do something that was practical for you guys to use for your Tamagotchis or your virtual pets that you can basically house them on top of it and everything. So there we go, your very own Tama Cradle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this uh, video was informative, helpful and everything. And if you have any questions, like I said, uh, don't uh, hesitate to ask me. Um, you can put everything in the comments down below. And don't forget to um, comment, like, and subscribe for future content such as this and everything. I'm gonna be doing other crochet projects. Um, I'm working on my pattern for my Kuchipachi pattern. Not this one. This is my first project with Kuchipachi, but um, I wanted to have something that was a little bit um, simple, simplified and easier for you guys to work with and probably a little bit smaller in size as well so that um, it's workable and workable quickly. So yeah, stick, stay, um, look forward to that and everything. But yes, I hope this project is something that you guys can use and grow with and everything. And thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.